Hi everyone, is today the worst day for me to be actually doing this? Probably yes, because I have to work like a 10 hour shift in the wet, muggy rain and outside, pretty much. Um, so, worst. Time to be trying a new foundation, and a drugstore foundation, to say the least. Um, but today what I wanted to try is the Healthy Foundation. I don't even know if this is, I don't think this is going to be my color. I ordered the color MN3. So this is the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation SPF 20, brightening complex for all skin types. It's hypoallergenic, fragrance-free, paraben-free, gluten-free, non-comedogenic, non-comedogenic, dermatologist-tested, clinically-tested, cruelty-free, and vegan. So if this doesn't make me look beautiful, then I don't know what will. I am, like, now just wrapping it out of the little wrapper, so that tells you that I've never put this on my face. Um, I will be applying this with my wet beauty blender, just like I do with everything. I have moisturized my face. I have serumed my face. It's really cloudy out, so I'm not going to put any sunscreen on. But I did um, kind of moisturize and prime with the Kiehl's lotion. Um, so my face is all prepped and ready to go. I'm going to just pull it back and look like a founding father. Yeah, so the color is MN3, MN3. Why can't I speak? Um, also, I don't have that much time to like get ready, so this is going to be real interesting and I'll try to bring my vlogging camera and try to kind of um, give you updates throughout the day because it's like three separate shifts so I go from one bar to another bar and then I have an hour gap to drive an hour away and go to another bar um, it's like 80 to 90 percent rain today so that's gonna be really fun I'll be running in the rain um, yeah if this fails me then they might fire me because it's a liquor gig job like a promotional liquor gig job and gig job Gig and job is the same thing. Oh man, today's going to be rough. So, how to, oh, it twists. Oh. Oh. I was not expecting this. All right, let me just like shake it up. I really thought this would be pump. Oh, this is like so unsanitary. Like this is just too creamy, so it wouldn't even like run out if I tried to like put it on the back of my hand, so I guess. I'm gonna try not to like dip it extremely like far in there. I don't know. I just feel like so color wise, this could work. And I'm just taking my beauty blender and I'm gonna start blending this out. This is gonna be a little bit, a little bit tanner. I hope this doesn't oxidize because then I'm gonna look orange because this is already like kind of darker to begin with. This is gonna make me look real nice and tan. But like, I mean, like this, this is how I try and make sure that my foundation matches my neck. It's not the worst match, but I feel like, I really hope this doesn't oxidize. And I can really lighten it with a concealer, so it's not like the biggest deal. What I'm mostly concerned about is it not oxidizing and staying on all day and not breaking me out. So the coverage is pretty nice and even down my skin tone very nicely. It feels a little bit heavy. It's like that thick cream formula without actually being like a cream. So it's still considered a liquid, but I can feel it on my face. I like to use things that are a little less heavy, but it doesn't feel super uncomfortable. And I'm sure by the time that I set it and things like that, it will like disappear off the face. Like it won't feel thick and heavy. Okay, so I do think that it oxidizes a little bit because look... I'm just hoping it doesn't like keep oxidizing. And I think this foundation is about $14, but I had a like 50% off Physicians Formula coupon. I will link that coupon down below. If you click that link, you will receive 50% off off the actual Physicians Formula website. So this foundation ends up being seven. Even down my skin tone fairly nicely. It covered up redness fairly nicely. Um, I will need concealer, my freckles are still showing through, so I kind of like it on that perspective. So it does a good job. The only con that I would have right now is the application of this, because that big old doe foot applicator freaks me out. I feel like you just can't keep a foundation clean that way. And then the fact that it feels a little bit heavy. The oxidation thing is like whatever 
Um, it seems to be immediately kind of sinking into my fine line, so I'm just going to have to really make sure to shut up and set this really nicely. For my face, I'm going to be using the Light Sand Shape Tape by Tarte. I'm kind of going to apply a little bit more than I would normally to kind of lighten this foundation up a little bit. People are going to be like, wow, you're so tan, and I'm going to be like, <laughs> thanks. I totes I'm outside all the time. Just kidding. All I do is work and sleep. So I like never see daylight and never see sunshine. And honestly, it's been raining here for like a week straight. So that's cool. It's like, I thought I lived in Florida, not Seattle. Okay, lightening this up with concealer uh, is making it look so much better. And the two really meshed really well. I've never had a problem with shape tape like not meshing with my foundations. But it's nice to know that it blends in just beautifully on top of something like this. Like it's not lifting, it's not mixing weirdly. It got a little bit too light, so I'm just using the part where I applied the foundation with kind of just running over that. So I think this looks really beautiful right now actually. So I want to set it. I'm using my Laura Mercier and then this brush right here. This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light brush. I'm just going to use this fluffy side to set the whole face. And I'm going to do one last little run over underneath my eyes to make sure that I'm not setting actual creases. I feel like doing that with your finger right before you set it really does a good job of like blending it out because your finger is warm so it kind of warms up whatever is there and then you just kind of set it. I'm doing the same thing with these smile lines right here. This is usually the best way to blow your cheeks so that the skin kind of is expanded and then once you do that kind of blow up fish face then you set it and it shouldn't be in your creases anymore. And whatever is left over, I'm just going to take everywhere on the face. Um, so I'm just going to kind of bronze and do my regular steps on top of this foundation. I can still kind of feel it a little bit, but that's just something I'm going to have to get over with. And I don't know if anyone else has this because I've watched absolutely zero reviews on this. I wanted to have my own opinion on this without like actually being swayed. So I'm also using the Butter Collection. Um from Physicians Formula as well, but I do have a review on that, so I will link that up above and down below. So I'm just gonna bronze up my cheeks. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll jump back on and kind of give you my thoughts and then I will eventually do check-ins and let you know how I feel about this, so I'll be right. Everything is on my face now. I did eyeshadow, eyebrows, mascara, waterproof mascara because it's gonna rain. Um, I did lip gloss, I powdered my face, which you saw, I bronzed it, I set it. Um, it didn't oxidize anymore, so it stopped. It looks very nice and fresh, and my skin looks like healthy and not dry, which is really nice because I did put a lot of um, powder on to make sure that this stays on all day. I'm getting a tiny bit of setting like sitting in here even though I tried to set this really well but that happens with some foundations so longevity is really important for me when it comes to foundations because I work 12 to 14 hour shifts sometimes and I work like seven days a week sometimes I'm crazy I know but it's like I need them to last through thick and thin through sunshine and rain just through sweating and like dry periods like I need it to stay on because I don't have the time to sit there and like redo my makeup throughout half the day and I never carry makeup around with me like I don't carry extra setting powder or like setting spray or like touch-up foundation I just don't do that I like sometimes don't even drop the lip product into my purse I like long-lasting things so that I don't have to worry about it um, and also that it doesn't break me out so because I do wear foundations for so long and my skin's not necessarily breathing I need it to not irritate my skin in a way that's going to make me break out. So those are two very important things and those are really long-term things that you will see once you wear the foundation for very long periods of time. So I'll be kind of trying to vlog throughout the day when I can to kind of give you updates on what my skin looks like. From far away, like it looks very natural. It looks like my skin. Everything really layered nicely over it. So let's just, um, just get really nice and up close. But yeah, it looks really nice and natural. It's not like really sinking in anywhere. It looks really nice. My pores look tiny. Um, it covered things very, very well. So I give it a thumbs up. So I think we all need to take a moment of silence for how much rain is happening. Please also excuse my outfit right now because this is how I've been trying to keep my hair not wet. Look at this rain. It has been doing this for like 
three days. Just kidding, more like a week at this point. So I wanted to do a face check-in. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna zoom you in real close. So the foundation's holding up pretty well. It's sinking into my fine lines, which was expected. But considering for how much rain I've walked in and how I've had this like hat on and off, it's holding up really well. My face still looks really nice. And it, my face looks pretty nice and I've, I went to the bathroom and like looked at it from far away and it's still looking really good. And I've ran in the rain three times now. And I've worked for about four hours now. So, uh, so far, still pretty damn good. I'm pretty impressed, but I'll be doing another check-in after my next gig ends, which is going to be around nine o'clock. So I'll check with you. So basically it's almost 10 p.m. right now and I put this foundation on around 11 around 11 o'clock maybe so it's been about a nine hour wear and I think for a drugstore foundation This is magnificent. It sunk a little bit more into my fine lines, which is not a problem Maybe it could be slightly off my nose Which is not a huge deal too, but considering the fact that I literally but yeah By the way my hair was curly and it's not anymore because of how much rain and water I have been in like wind and water was beating my face someone stole my hat so i literally walked in like the rain just trying to cover my head like i was blasted with rain in the face so considering how much damage this actual foundation went through i still think it looks pretty good and i'm not looking like actually crazy like this is still pretty doable like i could literally change and like go out to a dark club and no one would know so I think wrapping up my mind, I think I really like this foundation. Unless this breaks me out, do read the description box to see an update on whether this broke me out or not, but I'm obviously gonna go inside and wash my face and kind of do that whole like skincare thing. So hopefully it doesn't break me out, but other than that, the price is good. The color actually looks nice because I'm able to kind of make it lighter with um, concealer, but I still look like nice and tan. The I don't feel it on my face anymore, just kind of feels like my skin, so that went away after a while. I think maybe I just got used to it, and it still looks good. It still really looks like my skin, like it's just, I think it's a great foundation. I think it checks off every single thing that I would want off in a foundation. So anywho, I'm gonna go in. It's time for me to go to sleep. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this helps you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.